Guess who's back? I've really been missing doing these videos, so I figured, you know, I should probably sit down and start coming up with some ideas. And uh, every time I do, the brain just doesn't want to work. Usually it just kind of happens at like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I have to like jump out of bed and scribble down my ideas, and, and it, it's, it's just a huge mess. You probably never want to be part of the process of me coming up with ideas for these videos or, or where the ideas come from, because usually it's, it's, not, it's not pretty. It's, it's, pretty big mess. So anyway, I've spent close to like the past year being single, and it's driving me nuts. I can't just stop because I just, just want to be loved. <laughs> Could you love me? In all desperateness, uh, what have I done? Uh, yeah, I, I kind of turned to, uh, you know, the whole online dating uh, off and on. Um, to be honest with you, I really don't take it that seriously because um, I, I really don't think that like there's like a soulmate type of thing that's going to happen through like some kind of online website you know, using devious tactics to try and score somebody to share your life with. And on top of that, to be honest with you, almost every single member that I've ever met on one of those websites is freaking insane. Like, crazy. Some of them start out seeming kind of normal, and then you suddenly realize that there's something about them that just rubs you the wrong way. By then, you know, they, they like know your name, and they know how to contact you, and maybe they know where you live, or where you work, and they won't leave you alone, and then you gotta go get a restraining order, and it's just a huge long mess. So that was motivation behind this video, which is five things that drive me freaking insane about members on online dating websites. So the first thing you usually see when you're browsing through these websites, of course, would be somebody's picture right next to their username. So naturally, number one would be anybody who uses sexy, or hot, or good looking, or any other physically descriptive adjective that would be based on pure opinion only. Uh, the first thing you're screaming to me as soon as I see your screen name is the fact that you're like a narcissist. You think that you're, I don't know, God's gift to men or women or you know whatever is your fancy. But can't you just put yourself out there and allow people that are going to come to you to decide for themselves if you're hot or sexy or good looking? If they're contacting you, they're probably thinking that anyway. I mean, maybe one of your friends told you that you were cute or something, but I, I really don't think that what they meant was for you to go make a screen name that said that you were, or that you were hot, or sexy, or good looking, or whatever else. You should probably base your screen name off of something else that you like. Maybe a band, or, or a TV show, or fact like you play games a lot, or something. I have no idea. Something descriptive about yourself that doesn't really rely on somebody else's opinion probably be a great idea. If you really think that you're that good looking, why don't you go date yourself? I mean, you can go make out with a mirror. You can do that every single night. Go in your bathroom and, and like, I don't know, shove your tongue down your own throat, choke on it or something. I have no idea. But uh, you're really not impressing anybody. Really. At least not me. So number two would be posting nothing but pictures with other people, especially when there's more than like two, three, four, five people in your picture. I mean, I really don't want to have to sit there and try to figure out which one you are or anything. I don't know which one of these looks like it could be Cute Boy John. I, I don't know. What it, that guy looks like he could be kind of cute, but then again, maybe this guy over here thinks he is, but he, I, I don't know. I mean, if you go out to the bar and you're trying to pick up somebody, you're not going to sit there and parade around with all your friends. If you go over to talk to some girl, you're not going to bring them with you and be like, Hey guys, you know, you should come with me so I can kind of like show that I had this posse. That'll definitely make sure that I get to go home with this person's number if you guys are like right behind me the whole time, just standing there. Or are you the guy in the background photobombing the photo? I, I have no idea who you are, so really you're kind of defeating the purpose here. Okay, so number three, and I really can't stress this one enough because it happens to me on a constant basis and it drives me absolutely insane. And I don't mean just on these websites. I mean just in general on social media or even in person sometimes where people just come to you and they go, Wow, you're really sexy. You're so hot. Come on, guys. Can you come up with something a little better than that? Even if it's a cheesy, cheesy, corny pickup line, I respect you a lot more than coming up to me and complimenting me on my physical appearance. I mean, I'm flattered and all, and I'm glad you find me attractive, but my brain's up here, okay? Like, look up here. Hi. What's going on? What's up? I got a brain. I have words, and they come out. I can speak. I have interests, and I like to do things. And I don't really want you to be just coming at me because I look good. And to be completely and totally honest with you, I'm really not that good looking, so I mean, really. Stop lying to me! 
Coming in at number four from way downtown, and I mean way, way downtown, is people trying to make a romantic connection with somebody who will live thousands and thousands of miles away. I mean, really, what are you going to do? Like, oh, you know, hey, let's, let's talk and, and get to know each other. Oh, we have a lot in common. You know what we can do? We can have a Skype relationship. Let's have a Skype relationship where like, every single night we can Skype before we go to bed and I'll tell you I love you and blow a kiss to my screen and get lipstick all over the place. I mean, come on, really? Guys, don't you want to date somebody in your backyard? I mean, come on. And number five. And this one really makes me want to scream in your face. People write in their profiles that they like to have fun. I mean, no shit, really? I mean, you like to have fun? No way. Are there a lot of people in the world that don't like to have fun? That means you have to put that in your profile to make sure that everyone around you knows that, oh, gee, this person here likes to have fun. I'm so tired of hanging out with people who don't like to have fun. I should get on this person, like, right away. I should just message them right now and be like, oh, my God, I see that you like to have fun. I like to have fun, too. Maybe we should get together sometime and have fun. Have you honestly ever met somebody who doesn't like to have fun? I mean, who doesn't like to have fun? Hey man, I mean, you have a nice house and everything. Maybe you want to go, like, I don't know, watch a movie or play a card game or something? No, you know, I really don't like to have much fun. I kind of like to just sit here. I don't even like saying the words have fun anymore. It's driving me absolutely insane. I've read it so many times and I've said it so many times in this video that I don't even want to continue. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, Biddy, if you want to find somebody normal who likes to have fun, then maybe you should go out there and meet them the old-fashioned way in person. And I'm not against that, obviously. If somebody came up to me one day and was like, hey, man, what's going on? What's your number? And I'm not going to be like, well, you know, I had this online dating profile. You should really look me up on there and contact me that way. That's kind of like the way I prefer to do things. I don't. I don't prefer to do it that way. But uh, it definitely gives me more options. Listen, I'm a single dad. I kind of like to kiss dudes more than I like to kiss girls. So my options are kind of limited when it comes to meeting people. My day kind of revolves around, you know, work and my kids and doing laundry and that kind of stuff. So it's not every single day that I get the chance to dress up all fancy schmancy and go out to the bar and twerk all over somebody's leg to get a number. So with that being said, I've actually met some really awesome people that way, and a lot of them turned out to be pretty good friends because ultimately, after it all came down to it, you know, we just made better friends anyway. But for the most part, on dating websites, all of you are fucking insane. Can a man get some normal people up in here? Alright, so I'm done ranting. I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm Biddy, and that's what I say.